ladies, Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you um, some new foils that have been released by She Modern. So many of you have already seen a lot of um, different She Modern videos that I've done in the past. So I have actually got a playlist and I'll link that for you um, down in the description box below as well as um, at the end of the video. So be sure to check that out if you want some inspiration. So the latest release is um, foils that have actually got glitter in them. So they're kind of like a glittery um, foil and um, I've got just a few here that I want to share with you today I'm going to do some quick sort of nail tips just to show you what they look like on the nail and um, yeah I'll just leave direct links obviously where you can find these and the other great thing is that you can get um, foils that have two different colors on one um, sheet if that makes sense so you can choose which two colors you want and this gives you even more um, different sort of um, you know ways that you can use them on your nails you can layer them up you could do like a shadow effect and you know things like that so I've got a couple of leaf ones here I'll do a little bit more of a close-up Hopefully I don't um, blind you with the cellophane sort of catching the light, but that kind of gives you a bit of an idea. So we've got a pale green and green colorway there. And on here I've got, um, I think it was orange and the sparkly red. So it's those ones there. So there's leaves. They also do florals and there's a lot of different floral images. So these are just like a little snippet of what she's got. So you can see what I mean about the, the two color choices on one sheet. It does give you a lot more um, ways that you can use these by layering them up if you wish to do so. Or you can just use them as single colors. So that's those ones there. And then these are another um, new addition that she's got the kind of layering ones that you can use the flowers singularly or you can sort of use that within that one there she's also bought out a lot of matte sort of finish um foils as well and um yeah i think i've got the gold matte here and it might be the gold um purple there and or blue i can't remember the color actually but yeah there's a lot more choices up for grabs so there's those there of course she does um sort of seasonal ones too so we've got um just a couple here that i'm showing you that you can grab for um, Halloween that's just around the corner so I've got a holographic one there and it's got a really nice mixture of different images there ranging in size and um, you know what they are and that's just in a hollow then I've also got like a matte black and orange um, colorway there for the skulls and the ghosts so that's quite cute and it's got pumpkins on it too and then we've also got um, Christmassy ones as well and um, winter ones so I've got um, a snowflake um, that's coming you know sort of in a blue and a silver but you can choose whichever colors you want you know like you just have a look and see what she's got there and then I've also chosen the silver glitter one there which is kind of like a holographic one and the red sparkly one too so um, yeah I'll do some different ideas for you I'm going to be doing it on nail tips and I will be using um, she modern glitters so I've got um, a lot of the glitters there got a collection of them here and I do store mine in these little handy um, uh, what's it called like sort of they're supposed to be lipstick holders but they house the glitters really well um, and I did do a separate video on this a while back so it will be in that playlist if you want to sort of check those out too but I'll be doing some bases with those and um, yeah I'll just you know I'll show you how to do one but the rest of them I'm just going to do off camera just for um, saving on time and then I'll come back and show you how to use these along with the um, there's a couple of different gels that they have for getting these things to stick there's a grip gel so um, these all dry clear, you put them over your base gel, you know, your colour base gel, and then um, you cure them in the lamp. So the grip gel gives you the option of moving the um, foil around. So it will actually stick to it, but you can still move it around, whereas the glue gel will stick it. So once you've put it down, you need to make sure that that's where you want it, because you won't be able to move it after that. This is also great to use with the glitters and the powders and pigments that she also has. Um, so yeah, there's two really great products there. 
I do highly recommend these so um, be sure to check those out of course I'll leave a direct link for you down below too so on with the next part I will do um, a voiceover I'll fast forward it because otherwise the video is going to get really long um, but just to give you a few ideas on how you can use um, these latest foil editions from She Modern so just stay tuned okay so first up I'm just going to apply a um, nice even layer of the glue gel and uh, then I'm just going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds so I've got an LED lamp if you've got a UV you might need to cure it for a bit longer and then I'm just going to go ahead and add the um, orange pearlescent shimmer powder so you can put this directly on the nail I find this is the easiest way to distribute it um, and you do do the same method with um, glitters and other pigments to just sort of pop it straight on the nail now the um, powder or glitter will only stick to the exposed glue parts so um, you can actually blend um, more than one color together if you want to uh, just keep in mind where you're placing it when you're tapping it onto the nail or you can put it on a palette um, and then sort of pick it up with your finger and then you know pop it on I do clean my um, fingers with a lint remover um, I always just keep one handy keeps it nice and tidy so this is what the foil looks like it does have a protective plastic film that you do need to remove before using now these do come on a sheet so you will need to um, cut around whichever foil you require so just keep that in mind just take a little bit of time to do this some people like to pre-cut all of their um, foils out and have them all ready to go you know so whenever you want to do a manicure they're all ready for you but cut as close as you can to the um, the actual foil itself so I'm just sort of doing a rough cut here and then once I've got them there I'm just going to go ahead and cut right up as close as I can so it does take a little bit of time, just be patient with it and um, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad actually. Now with these being sort of on the larger side, I would be doing um, slip cuts. So what these are are just cuts that you do in between, you know, sort of around the edge of the um, foil. And what that will do is actually give a, um, a nice sort of... Um, you know it can mold to your nail so what I'm doing here sorry it's just adding another layer of the glue gel and then I'm going to cure that and in the meantime I'll soak the foil so what I've done with these I've pre-cut them all I've done the slip cuts around the edges and um, I've got a couple of extra ones there so they're just sort of the neck size down so I'm going to use a clear stamper I sort of prefer this method what you do is just sort of pick it up if the backing paper comes with it then I would just sort of slide that off and then just have a lint free pad ready on the side just to mop up or absorb any extra water that might have transferred onto the stamper because you don't want to put that onto the nail tip and that looks just amazing on its own I mean you could definitely stop right here um, and leave it just really nice and simple or you can add to the next layer of the flower so what I you saw me doing there was just using the silicon tool and what that will do is just press down and take out any creases because you've made the slip cuts you can mold it to the nail quite nice and easily so that's the first layer done there and that to add the second layer we'll need to add another coat of the um the grip the grip glue the grip gel i can't remember what it's called now sorry having a senior moment um and then just cure that in the lamp and then proceed as you did before now because of this um the grip gel I did mention before that you can actually move your foils around it does give you that option um, if there's any overhanging bits I advise just to cut them off you better to have it too short than too long because if anything's going to lift off your nail it will be off the edges there just using the silicon tool there again to pat it down and then I'm just popping on the next flower so I'm just going to show you here how versatile that um that gel actually is so it allows you to um, reposition if you want to if you feel like oh, I don't sort of like the way this looks I just want to turn the flower around you can actually do that with it it's not sort of um, you know once you've stuck it on it's not kind of set in stone you can leave it off center like this if you want to I just decided to um, just sort of stick it straight over the um, the base flower but um, like I said you know the system's so versatile you can just do it um, however you want to 
and um, you've got lots and lots of different options there. So that's that nail done there. I'm going to do add a layer of top gel and I will do that with all of my swatches. I just you won't see me doing it. That's all. And then cure that in the lamp and then that's that design done there. So the next one is done with the, um, the Halloween one. So that's got the skulls and the pumpkins and things like that. So for this one, I'm just going to use a couple of the skulls and I've done the slip cuts and whatnot. So the base for this one I did with three different glitters. I did a lilac, a purple and a green. And I just used that um, glue gel um, to stick them down basically. And then I'm just going to do a bit of a shadow effect with this one. So just using the black one as a base and then popping the orange one over the top. Next up I'll do the flowers of so these cute little daisies. You can, you know, I've ordered quite a few in different colours. I just think they're so versatile, these ones. They, they really are very cute. So I've used the two bigger ones there on the base. Just smoothing out all the lines. Adding another coat of that grip gel. And then this time I'm going to layer them up. So what I've done with this um, gold one is I've popped the... Um, turquoise coloured one over the top and I've sort of done it off centre so you can see the other colour coming through so you can see both petals and then with the um, turquoise one I decided to add the smaller gold daisy over the top and this just gives another way that you can use it I mean these flowers really are quite versatile you can cut them down the centre and you know sort of um, lot, use them lots and lots of different ways next up I'm going to be doing a autumn leaf design so I've done this over the brown base now in the end it was really hard to see these leaves I probably should have done it over a lighter base and um, then you would have seen the leaves a lot better so I've just got the first layer of leaves on there and then I'm going to add another coat um, of the grip gel and just add some more leaves to the design you'll just see them there so these um, red ones are the sort of glittery looking ones. They're quite cute actually, I do quite like them. But yeah, like I said, glitter on top of glitter is really hard to see. Okay, so I'm back with the um, swatches for these beautiful foils from She Modern. So um, I'll just give you a little bit more of a closer look. Now, I didn't even think about it at the start, when because I've done some of them on glitter bases and the actual foils are quite reflective. They're a little bit tricky to kind of see. Um, where I was going with the design and I think a cream base might be the way to go so just bear that in mind but I mean the colors do look really quite cool and I do like how um, diverse they were see if you sort of look at the one with the um, the orange what did I use one that one there the orange and um, pearlescent shimmer and that one was with green pearlescent shimmer they just kind of show up a lot easier than the ones with the glitter because you're kind of fighting um for your eyes to kind of look at all the lots of different sort of reflective areas that there are there so i've just showed you that you can lay them up like i have done with these you can do a shadow effect um you can change the size of the one that you're layering it with so you can go for the same size or you can go for a smaller size um, yes there's lots of different ways you can do those flowers I've just sort of laid some leaves up there as well and then we've got some um, Christmas baubles there as well so yeah that just shows the diversity of the different types of foils that She Modern has got they've really increased their color range and um, they've increased the the types of finish that you can have as well so there's matte finishes as well as your, your regular foil finishes and um, hollow and sort of your glitter ones too so lots to choose from lots of colors and as you can see lots and lots of different types of styles and um, things like that so don't forget I will leave um, my um, direct links for these where you can find all of these from down below thank you again tina at she modern for sending these out to me always enjoy doing um she modern um, reviews for you and just doing some different nail arts and just showing the different ways you can actually use them because they're i mean that's the whole the whole thing about being um creative with your nail art is that this actually just gives you another tool for you know being creative and putting your own stamp on something so apart from that ladies thanks for stopping by i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are and it's bye for now see you in the next one